2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11 and for this cause the Heavenly Father shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, 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 Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rakai Kudash, double honor to all the apostles and all the bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom. The Most High, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai blinded you if you cannot understand the mark of the beast the heavenly father blinded you if you could not see what the mark of the beast is okay because here it is this prophecy is pending you, this thing is basically at the door and you have men scratching their heads you know, like they don't know what's going on. That's because the Most High blinded them. That's what's happening here. So let's read this again. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. And for this cause, the Heavenly Father shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. If you saying that the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, if you saying that it's something else besides the chip, you believe a lie. Okay? That they all might be damned, meaning destroyed. Because if you don't stop teaching that, if you don't stop pushing those false doctrines, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, you're going to be destroyed and your followers going to be destroyed. Okay? And we're not gonna make this too long. We're just getting to the point. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse four. I also will choose the delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. So ultimately, the Heavenly Father gave them over to believe that the mark of the beast is something else, you know, so the Heavenly Father can judge them, you know, which is why the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is to be feared, okay? And these same men that push out these false doctrines, these same men, <laughs> the, the, the perpetrators, all right, that push out these wayward philosophies, they come up against us. And and there's a reason for that too. Okay? Because Lord willing, we're coming in the spirit of the ancient prophets. Okay? Now let's read verse 5. This is Isaiah chapter 6, 6, verse 5. Hear the word of the Heavenly Father, ye that tremble at his word. Ye that tremble at his word. What are you hopeful elect out there? Your brethren that hated you. Now this reminds me of these other camps, you know. When I read this right here, I think of these other camps. Your brethren that hated you, because these guys hate us for no reason. They cast you out for my name's sake, and they do that. And ultimately, that's why we're being persecuted too. We're being persecuted, you know, being, um, you know, uh, slandered. All these different things is uh, coming upon us. You know, we're the outcast camp, <laughs> you know, Gray Millstone, we're, we're the anomaly amongst the various Israelite groups, you know. But this is happening because of his name's sake. He put his name on us, you know, and out of all the camps, we're the main camp that pushes the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. It's mainly us, us push, pushing out. Excuse me. It's mainly us pushing out Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai out of all different Israelite groups. So we're being cast out for his namesake. 
Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified. And this is basically uh, sarcasm. You know, let's see if the Lord with y'all, basically. You know, what we're going to find out. We're going to see what stands at the end of the day. You know, because you got to stand on what you believe in. So y'all sent the MOTB, you know, which is the mark of the beast. You're saying that it's something else. You're going to have to stand on that. All right. So they say, let the Lord be glorified. Once again, this is sarcasm. But he shall appear to your joy. See, they're going to come to find out that the Lord was really with us the whole time. And they shall be ashamed. That's it. That's it right there, man. But I pray this is edifying, you know. Just a uh, quick video. You know what I'm saying? I was actually preparing some last night. You know, I got off late from the job. But, um, you know, I'm not going to make no excuses. Lord, will I could, um, you know, just play catch up. You know, we got to make the adjustments, man. You know, at the end of the day. So, you know, uh, Lord willing, it's edifying, though. Hey, we're going to see how everything turn out, man. When this deal goes down, you know, you're going to come to find out that the men of Great Millstone, which we come in the spirit of the prophets, you're going to see that we were telling the truth the whole time, beginning with our leadership, and you're going to see these other guys fall, man. You know, it's not a thing of us bo boasting, you know, like we just so much better, but what we're teaching is better. See, it ain't about us, it's about what we're teaching. The truth is you how about Shemiah was shy, you know? We're just pushing out the Lord's word, man, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and for that reason, and because of his name, we get persecuted for it. And the persecution is going to get worse, you know. But, hey, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? It says, he shall appear to our joy, but they're going to be ashamed. Because they're teaching that the mark of the beast is something else. We're going to see what happens when it's mandatory. We're going to see what they're going to do and their following. And with that, I'm going to say, Barakatha Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash, double honor. To our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone. Peace, bless the elect. Shalom.